Well, it's about March 2nd, and we are on our way to owning the entire map here in Farming Simulator. We own this New Holland Combine, this John Deere tractor, and now this sprayer, which I bought on sale 58% off. It cost us $22,800, but it's going to be a worthy investment, and today we're going to put it right to work. First, let's see if there's anything for sale in here I want. This is a lot of horsepower needed, but we might just have that. We've got 305, Dan. No, we don't quite have that. But I don't really want anything else. Um, yeah, I really don't. So that's gonna be that. I mean, that planter's neat. It's expensive, though, so I don't have the money. Besides, we don't have any planting to do, even though it is coming up on springtime. Instead, we are gonna be getting our crop ready to be harvested by, I think, July. So we're gonna need some liquid... I think we're gonna do liquid fertilizer. $6,400 is what it'll cost to fill this thing up with, uh, with liquid fertilizer. Yikes. We do also own this cultivator right over here that we had bought on sale as well. The only thing we didn't buy on sale is that combine back there. We own these four fields highlighted in blue. All of them are planted in canola, and canola will be ready to harvest by, yeah, July. Awesome. Once we get that harvested in July, we're going to plant some canola again, and some fields will leave fallow to plant in probably sunflowers. But for now, we need to get right to work spreading the fertilizer here because we want an even better yield right now. All of our fields have only been fertilized the one time from planting. Now that winter has gone through and we're coming up on our spring months almost, I'm going to go ahead and start applying some fertilizer out here. You guys can see that we've got most of the weeds that were out here in our fields, starting out with our biggest field that we have, and we'll be working down in size from there. Last time we used that uh, other fertilizer, the one that was kind of like a pole behind, not on a trailer. Oh, I'm destroying crop. I have the wrong tires on. I did not realize I had the wrong tires on. Ooh, good thing we just destroyed a little bit, I guess. We didn't really drive out there fully. I mean, you know, for like a full stretch. Okay, we're definitely gonna fix that because that would be a lot of loss. We don't need to be uh, losing money like that. No, no, no. The reason that happened is because the crop has grown on longer than uh, their early stages when they don't get damaged. Now they do get damaged, so we need to switch our tractor. To have narrow tires on it. I gotta see what that's gonna cost. We wanted to switch this over to have narrow tires. Now we'll be able to switch back and forth however we want, but let's see if we can get, yeah, narrow twins. I don't really want twins. Can I just do narrow? I think I have to do narrow with the rear twins. I don't think they're gonna let me do anything else. It's $5,500 to do this. We're sticking with the Trelleborg tires. We could switch brand and probably find another option maybe. Oh, Midas has them, but they got the doubles in the back. I think that might just be how it's gonna happen. Okay. What are you, what, what come on, you uh, oh, no. Why? Why everybody got to... Okay, it's just gonna have to happen, I guess. By that standard, I would guess it's probably like a weight distribution thing or a don't tip over kind of thing, so... We'll do it. $5,500. Let's go ahead and make the adjustment. Now that we own those tires, we can swap between our old tires and those tires however we want. There is a small service fee by doing it at the shop here, but when we eventually own our own farm, we can do it ourselves. And now that we've got actually duels on here, which is pretty nice, I might keep, I might just keep these tires on here. They're not bad, boys. We'll see. We'll see. We have the other ones if we need them. Too bad I can't just sell those. Wouldn't that be nice? Farm Sam. <laughs> Let me sell my old tires, please. All right, line myself up. Let me get unfolded and we'll get to spraying. All right, here we go. Time to spray the field, bud. Gonna drive out in the field and fertilize it real good. Look at it. Look at all the canola and fertilize. I'm missing the edge there a little bit. Hold on, let me squeeze on past you there. All right, so we've gone a little ways. I want to stop and just double check that this is... Yes, okay, good. We're fertilizing. Now, we are not currently playing with precision farming, but if you guys would like to see an attempt of this with precision farming after we successfully completed here, then I'm definitely down to do that. If you want to see it with mods, if other restrictions, with whatever, you guys just let me know in the comments down below. These are ideas that we can change, we can adapt, and we can continue to do, you know, moving into even the next game. Now, uh, there is definitely a downside. And I feel like I can only go 7 here, and I feel like the other one I could go like 12 or 11 or, I don't know, faster than 7. But, uh, uh maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I, I just don't remember right. Either way, I guess we're gonna be out here a while. Pretty, though. Minus all the weeds, you know, if those weren't there, it'd be pretty. 
Also, we're getting like 45 mile an hour gusts in real life right now. So if you hear anything weird in the background, you're, it, it, it's wind. You're listening to wind. Boy, it sure is windy in this microphone. And we ain't talking about them 45 mile an hour gusts, Jake. All right, all right. But it is my job. Boop. Oh, hey, sir, I don't want to hit your tree. No, no. Just want to sneak on past you, buddy boy. Excuse me. Would you let me on by, please? No. Hey. Don't be smacking no trees, okay? This ain't treesmacking.com. All right, this is YouTube. Where we do things a little different out here, but we ain't smacking no trees. Uh-uh. As we infinitely back up through the field, I want to say right here-ish. Okay, moment of truth. How bad are we? Oh, yeah, we're a little bad. Okay. I got slot over this way by like a, a little kind of a tractor width, maybe. Let's try right there. Come on. Dang, dude. Hey, this is hard. This is really hard to do out here. Okay, we're going to hire a worker. I can't do it. <laughs> I, I can't see where I've been, where I haven't been. Oh, you can barely maybe see it, dude. That is impossible to tell the difference. That's, that's, nah. We're gonna hire a worker, and they're gonna do it. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to plant two crops a year, maximize our fields, but I don't really see a way to do that. Uh, we would need a harvest season up front here, and that's popular oil seed grass, or, grass or uh, that's about it, really. Oh, so that don't really work. And these fellas that plant back here, they harvest up here, which means they're in the field through this section, which means they'd have to be something that you'd plant here. Cotton? Uh, I mean, may, technically, wait, wait, wait. Would that suck? Yes. Canola plants in August after it's harvested in July. After the harvest, we can plant half in canola. And then cotton plants all the way in February, but then harvests in October, November. So we could harvest a field. Hmm. Well, that doesn't really quite solve any problems for me, does it? Because I need them to be able to intermix. This is going to take some thinking, boys. This might not even be possible. Hold on. Wait. Let me... Give me a minute. I'm not... Because I don't want to do one of these, okay? I just don't. So we're going to have to figure this out. Well, meanwhile, while I'm trying to hurt my brain here, this dude is crawling along, making progress. His progress is questionable, but it is progress. It's my fault for stopping him out there halfway through the field, maybe. Sir! Could you stop being so stupid, please? Why is he doing... Oh, because he don't want to overspray. But for now, i got to get back to hating my head. Here we go. Y'all want to have a little fun with me? Entertain me for just a moment. Let's see what happens. I have four fields that I want to plant two crops in every year. Wheat planted in September and October and harvested in July and August. Barley in June and July. It can be harvested and it can be planted in September and October. Canola can be planted in August, September. Can be harvested in... Oh, it stopped. <laughs> it doesn't like me naming all that. I was like, no, screw you. You ain't naming through everything. Stop, you're worthless. You cut me off. Don't be impatient. Be helpful. You know, I'm realizing our money is going down so fast because I think the AI is set to just eat it. Sir, don't don't eat my money. Look at you. What are you doing? Eating my money. Get out of here. You use the spray I put in you, boy. I spend money on it already. I ain't paying for more. Whoa, look at this. We done over here. Good job, buddy. Well, you ain't really done because you made it look like a stair, like a podium at the Olympics. We got third, second you know, in first place here, but it's fine. I'll, yeah, is that good enough? Not really. Okay, we're, I'm gonna at least clean up the uh, headlands here or, or something, I don't know. Then we will resume trying to see if computer is smart enough to farm. Uh, I'm thinking no, <laughs> but we'll find out. I smacked a tree. Oh, I told you we don't do that around here. I gotta sneak down to the other end, clean up that piece, and then we gotta go over to that field over there, spray that field. Then we gotta go to two fields over there, spray those fields. And then we gotta make money, 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 because we are broke. We're on our way to it, at least. All right. Don't you worry, little plants. I'm gonna spray this chemical water on you and you're gonna feel fantastic. You're gonna be like, mmm, give me that juice, boy. Hey, is this just steroids for plants? Am I just giving plants steroids right now? Who knew I was juicing my freaking canola, bro? I thought my canola was natty. Guess I don't farm organic around these parts. Cause so could you say that like someone that's natty at the gym is just organic and someone that's like juicing is, is a GMO? <laughs> you are a genetically modified organism, sir. <laughs> Thank you. That's not a... What? <laughs> All right. How'd it do? Better? Why do we got Doritos in the field? <laughs> I don't want to fight the triangles. I ain't gonna do it. If, maybe if I hate it, I will. I probably will, but... For now, we're going to move on. It's really cool how it just senses the height of the land and it just adjusts. Look at that. Well, hi, Field. I'm here to spray you with chemical. And I got a little on the neighbors. Oh, wow. Sure hope the neighbor don't yell at me. Don't know if I'll be able to hear him inside of my air-conditioned John Deere tratter. Don't drive in the ditch, buddy. Hit the brakes, Jack. 
There you go. Back it up. Beep, 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 beep. There you go. Whew. We almost went swimming with the fishies, my friend. But I tell y'all what, I'm a hire worker and tell him to do my job. And while I'm not doing my job, I'm gonna go eat food. And then I'll get back and see if the worker has completed the job. In the meantime, what do you mean no fit? Do the job. Do the job. It's because I already sprayed this part. Hold on. Find the spot where I haven't sprayed. Oh, I stopped him. That's my bad. Now I'm gonna go get food. Be right back. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. It's been a little while since I've been uh, able to cord. We were in the middle of getting fertilizing done, and I, I think uh, honestly, it's been like a week for me. <laughs> um, it, it, you guys probably won't really notice too much on videos, but I haven't been able to do work in like a week because I've been, you know, helping my dad out on the farm in real life. Just got some stuff we had to take care of, and. It took us a little while, but I'm ready to get back to work. I'm trying to sneak, uh, I think, is it that field? It was behind the taco place, right? I'm trying to sneak over to our next two fields. Yes, this one back here for fertilization. As you guys remember, we had canola planted out here, and we are on our way to try and buy the entire map, of course. Trying to think what else we needed to do. I think fertilizing is really all we needed to take care of this month, and then we would fast forward potentially till, well, I guess we could take this to harvest because we're going to need to harvest. We don't have any other fields available to do anything else. I'm not allowed to do contracts. So I think that that's how that's probably going to end up going. I mean, we could maybe mow grass around the field. We could maybe try to uh, plow some of it up and get more acres. But you know, I gotta be honest with you guys. I thought about that and I'm not too worried about adding more acres. Um, we're going to end up buying far, far more than we want to do. So I'm not going to make life even worse, okay? I got to think about the long game here, fella. And the long game says you don't want that smoke. I don't want to deal with it. I know there's a corner here. It's a lovely corner and it can stay there. I just, eventually, I know I'm not going to want to have to deal with it, okay? We'll have enough of our pl on our plate. That is for sure. This little field ain't going to take us too terribly long. It's going to be a couple passes on the headland then one or two down the middle there. But honestly, I think we're doing pretty good so far. Honestly, doing better than we did in our billionaire start. But that means we're... We've been learning, so I really can't complain. Now, I'm sure we have plenty more to learn, but hey, we'll get there. Now, if I remember correctly, we own this tractor. We own this sprayer. We bought both of them on sale. The only thing we didn't is that combine. And we own a trailer, but I need to get a dolly. We have the money for it, but I probably will wait until we sell here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to do a pass up and down that little section. So I'll just do that whenever we, we, we get done here, just to clean this up, make sure it's good. I'm going to drive down the middle eyeball it hope i'm pretty okay i might not be but you know what i can't be perfect okay and i don't want to spend the money on a hired worker i already spent enough money take a gander go ahead i'll, I'll show you looky here looky look, where's it at where's the people's cost oh wages i've already spent four hundred dollars can you believe it <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly I've been doing most of this myself, okay? Uh-uh, I, I'm fertilizing your field, mister. No, you gotta pay me for that. You know, it's not the first time I've said that, minus the fertilizing part. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We call that mediocre and done. How bad did I do? Let's just, uh, let's just, uh... Oh, not bad! Not bad at all. I'll take it. We got I missed a couple little spots, but I'm happy with it. So let me, uh, turn myself around. Kind of look like a dog chasing its tail there. You guys think that too? Anywho, we're gonna go over there cross this little creek and to the other field. You ain't gonna guess what we gonna do over there. I'll give you five seconds. Go ahead. One Mississippi. Two mi You don't want to sit through this. If you guessed we were gonna come over here and spray fertilizer, congratulations. You picked up the context clues. I look like, hey, y'all ever seen that show, uh, Over the Hedge? How do I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm one of them animals right now, just walking through the bushes like, oh gosh, there's a human right there. What's he got? Oh, it's spraying chemicals. Oh, <coughs> You know, <laughs> over the hedge, but it's like if the EPA directed it. <laughs> they need to get their propaganda out of my children films. <laughs> I could say something to make some people mad, but I'll reframe today. Usually I'd say it. Not today. Oh, by the way, I have no idea. Last time I told you guys an update about my dad's channel, but it's over 2,000 subscribers now. So thank you for that. That's pretty awesome. Also, you might notice we missed a couple videos. My bad. Uh, I've been really busy. Remember when I said I was busy for like a week? 
I didn't have, I didn't have a chance to edit the videos. Sorry. <laughs> but there are videos on there right now. If you want to go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Winky face, winky face. All right. Pull forward. Oh, uh, he drove in the bushes. Oh, man, it's a massacre. They're going to report about it on the Over the Hedge news tonight at 6. I need an entire Over the Hedge universe where it's just like they live normal lives. They drive cars. Like, they just, they took over, right? I went over the hedge. They took over. They live in homes. They drive cars. They complain about stock prices. This is what I want in content, people. <laughs> if uh, any Hollywood executives are looking out there, just know that I'm pretty good at acting and not gonna write a script and I have a degree. I have a degree in it from Full Sail University. You know the name. If you work in the industry, you know the name. That thing cost me a lot of money. You better know the name. <laughs> My editor right now was like, bro, I feel that. <laughs> hey, look at that. We are uh, pretty much done. I'm, you know, we missed a couple corners, but I'm happy with it. If you are, I'm going to get out of here and let's move time forward yet. I got to make sure I don't have another thing to do. But if I don't see you at harvest, sorry, Jim, I drove in your field. I would tell you to sue me, but you know, I got to get out of the habit of that because though I'm being sarcastic, someone may take me serious someday. And I don't want that. Go away. Whatever it was, I'm sorry. There you go. Hey, do you got some canola? Hold on. No, you got barley. Leroy, what you doing planting barley out here? You know this is canola land. My neighbors don't respect my crop. All this barley moving in next door. I don't want no barley as a neighbor. I sure wish I owned a house so I could just sleep. It sure is hard to sleep for months on end sitting inside your John Deere tractor. But it costs that much as a house, so, I mean, I don't have a choice. Wake me in the morning. I'm making waffles. Well, it's harvest season, boys and girls. So we're going to pick up our little headers, pull on out of the shed, and say hello to the world. Sneak on to the backside and get right to work. Hey, here we go. Whoa, oh, got to really hit the brakes coming down here. Gets a little rough. There we go. Neighbor's got a nice field there to harvest. Sure wish it was mine. But ours is the darker looking one right over here. Never noticed that there was such a huge color difference, to be honest. But we've got pretty decent canola out here. We're ranging anywhere from 80 to 90 to blah, 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 whatever. We got pretty decent crop. I'm ready to get going. We're going to make money. $56,000. I need to get a dolly to pull our trailer from that lot. Hopefully they haven't towed it. Probably better just hire a worker to go ahead and do this job, Dan. I know y'all want to do some harvesting, and we will. But I got to get some stuff head, uh, you know, set up so we can get all that going. So, I'm gonna get him set up down this field. Set up down. Up down, hut! <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna sneak over to our tratter. Now I wanna put a dolly on the back side of this. So let's see what a dolly might cost. Oh, baler for sale. Don't need it, go away. Oh, hey, that's cheap. That's real cheap. Buy it, $9,000. I could've done that 600,000 years ago. We've only been farming for two, but I could've done it 600,000. This tractor on over here, you thought I was gonna say nay nay. Ha, what a loser. <laughs> it looks so stupid pulling this thing back here with no trailer at that. I'm doing work, guys. Look at me. Woo! Big farming. <laughs> what you farming, J- Oh, signs, apparently. Uh-oh. Better than that guy's mailbox. You know how many times he's had to rebuild that thing? Oh, almost hit the neighbors. <laughs> These duels are dangerous, son. Whoa, don't want to hit the tree limbs. Those are kind of low. Somebody needs to trim those. I found it. All right, don't pull out into the guy's sunflowers, but... Jake, what did you just say? Oh, wait. We've only hit one. Acceptable. And, it, and it's still okay. Even more acceptable. Anyways, we're going to back this funny looking thing back up here and, and uh, we're going to get this trailer. Beep, beep. Now we're going to have two pivot points. Oh, no, don't ask me to back. Please pull forward only after this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hey, we did it. Celebrate good times. Come on. Oh, 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 the, the good times are over. They don't last long, boys. Not for us. Come on, come on, come on. Get on around it. Get around it. Get around it, Jim. Woo, just curbed it. We're fine. <laughs> oh, they definitely don't want to see me come back here, do they? Y'all ever seen a tractor pull a semi-trailer? Man, I knew times were tough, but I saw my trucking company was pulling their trailers with a tractor. That takes a whole new meaning to tractor trailer, don't it? I imagine he's only doing day cab work. I swear, if he's trying to go cross country in this sucker, it's gonna take. That Amazon Prime ain't gonna get there, boy. I ordered this thing six weeks ago. What are they pulling it with? A tractor? Ow! The sign came back to haunt us. Good Lord. Ow, back off. I think it broke my windshield. Gosh, who knew this was gonna be such a perilous trip? Oh boy, here we go. More roughness. Easy, easy, 
There we go. Look at that. Good job. It is a nice trailer, though. I do like it. You're going to fill up while you in the wrong spot, ain't you? Get 66. We'll see what happens. We got the tractor here. I'm more or less going to just pull it forward a hair. Take the top off. You know what I mean? We'll let her air out for a little bit. I'm going to hop over. I'm afraid to take over because I'm not very good at going straight. You guys know. But I'm going to try. Here we go. Here we go. Fire. Keep it running. Go. Oh, we had to push so many buttons to do that, but we did it. Okay, I'm already turning. Solid start. But last time we sold our canola, I think we made, what, say 90,000, 93,000, something like that ballpark. I'm curious to see what we end up making this time, but uh, we've almost got a full tank, and it's going to take a little while before we're done with this field. But we can store it in the big silos down by the train, just like we did last time. Okay, yep, see, I, I'm, I, I went off. All right, all right. I already messed it up. Petition for Jake to get GPS mod, please. Hey, you guys see little buddy, uh, you missed a little piece up here? What's, what, what's with that? You don't want to harvest that? I'll harvest it. There ain't nothing wrong with that crop. Come here. Finish your plate when you eat, boy. What? These people never finish their plate when they eat. I'll clean it up. Nom, 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 nom. Mmm. Delicious. Dad, I spit that out. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, it's not going to be done on this. Okay, I'm going to hire a worker. Continue. Because I got to oh, start the engine and come down that way. Racers, start your engines. Did I name it? Insert uh, Mario music, anybody? Welcome to my version of Rainbow Road. I really want to add the B word after that because it would have been funny, but yeah, I ain't going to do it. All right, stick your pipe out and give me your grain, sucker. Come on over, son. Woo, look at that. Canola going on into the first tank. We're using, <laughs> we're using our chatter. And our this is unconventional, but it works. <laughs> I don't know. Did I buy this on? No, I bought this full press, didn't I? Mm. Should have bought it on sale. Speaking of sales, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. That's right. I don't want that. Oh, oh, he's going over the bridge. Oh, someone going under the bridge. I got distracted. What are we doing? Oh, that's right. We farming. You keep going. Oh, hey! I say you could do that. Now I got to clean that out. We've got almost 10,000 liters, and he's probably gonna take another pass or two here so i'll just sit here and let him go but we're gonna keep harvesting and hopefully we can get enough money to buy our next field 